Hey, this is partly Jonathan here, and I was asking you to take a moment and look at me and think about this beautiful weather you're having, and if it's raining outside or if it's sunny or if it's cloudy or whatever kind of day you're having, I want you to think about something. Uh, I've worked in hospice care for about 10 years now as a nurse, and a lot of the pep talks that I would give people is regarding death and dying and grief. There's a lot of things we can't control at the end of life, and I feel like a lot of people right now are experiencing a loss of control. So something that I wanna encourage you to do right now is despite whatever is out of your control, whether it's losing a job or losing your mind <laughs> or losing your heroes, I think everyone here has experienced some kind of death. So today's talk about grief and loss Take a moment to think about something you can control. And what I would encourage patients to do um, when they were experiencing a loss of their body functions and a loss of their, their will to live and a loss of their body control, I would tell them, hey, find something to control, even if it's something as simple as getting a little plant and watering it faithfully every day or feeding your pet once a day and thinking this is the thing that I can control right now. This is my lotus of control. So of all the messages you're receiving today, I hope you receive this one, that it really does good for your soul in the midst of chaos, in the midst of losing control, to remind yourself that technically you never were in control of anything. And, and there's a lot of madness and storms going on all the time that most of the time we're just simply unaware of. So take, take the moment to control your breathing, to control uh, the way you do the dishes, to control the way um, you make the bed, to control the way uh, you manage your temper, your anger, your shame, and your fear. So I hope this word is encouraging to you. Have a good day.